Greetings everyone, this is Jim Todd with Video Surgeon and I have another sneak peek video look at the new version 3 which is under development. In this sneak peek video I'd like to focus upon the looping areas because it's what we've been working on the last month and I'd like to share with you what we're going to be doing here. So as you can see I have a couple of loops set up here on the screen and they are both turned on <clears throat> and I guess just to sort of get started here as a summary loops will allow you to customize this particular segment of the video and within it you can change the tempo or the speed the key you can change the zoom and you could also change and store the volume so all of those things can be customized and saved for a specific loop so with that as a backdrop then let's talk about a few of the things that we're doing in this newest build. So one of the things which you guys ask for which we did not have in version 2 is the ability to do a loop bypass or turn these off. So if you have the progress indicator within a loop and you select the loop bypass it turns that loop off. If you have it outside of any of the loops and you do it it turns all of the loops off. And of course when a loop is turned off it will play through that loop as if it does not exist. So that's the first thing I wanted to point out. Um, a second thing is that if you use your right click mouse and you open a menu one of the things that you've asked for is to show a loop count. So in this particular case we're going to turn the loop count on. We're going to allow it to play. And what you will notice here, so we have a one, now it's two, and of course every time it loops this will increment and go to three. So it is a new feature which many of you have asked for which is to sort of track the number of times it loops as it's looping. By the way, this is pretty small for me to see, so one of the things that you can do is you can actually change the font size here. So in this case, I've changed it to a larger size and we can see it a lot better. Another thing which several people asked for was the ability to sync the progress indicator with the beginning of a loop. So if you're within a looping area, and I'm going to move to this second loop here, and I right click it, to see my loop settings I can select sync progress indicator to start and it moves that progress indicator to the beginning of the loop so that's another new feature which you'll see and then lastly um, something I want to show you is contiguous looping and what do I mean by that well as you know in the past you could set two loops very close together but you could not put them on top of each other. Well in this newest version essentially you can drag either of these loops either the ending of one loop or the beginning of another and put it over top and when you do that and let go you'll see that this little loop icon here is both red and blue which shows you that it is the end of loop 28 and the beginning of 29 so these two loops then have become contiguous meaning that the end of this loop is the beginning of this loop and there is no space between them and that again is something that a number of people have asked for over the years not only in this product video surgeon but in some of our other products like song surgeon so we're pleased to let you know that we're going to be able to do that in this particular new version there are also a bunch of other features in here let me just scan through them quickly show loop count we can move the loop label from the left to the right people have asked for that <clears throat> this is the font size uh, expanded view is something that we haven't implemented yet delete loops delete all loops loop bypass we've talked about loop settings menu you can either get to that by right clicking here or you can get to it <clears throat> by clicking the pencil up here which basically will do the same thing but 
What this is, is a summary of the settings for the loop. You see the beginning and ending loop points. You see the key or the pitch settings, the tempo settings. Has the ability here to put a loop delay in like we have in our product song surgeon. Should point over here for a loop delay. So you could set this to seconds. So if you have this set to two seconds, what would happen is it would play through the loop. When it hits the end, it delays or stops for two seconds, so then it jumps back to the beginning. You can also set the loop count here, minus one being an infinite looping cycle. You could set this to, to one or to five or to 10, and whatever number you put in there is the number of times it will loop repetitively until it then stops looping and and continues playing through the end of that loop. So these are new things that you can do. And then the last thing here is this Speed Trainer. And if you're familiar with Speed Trainer and Song Surgeon, this is essentially going to work the same way here in Video Surgeon. And what it does is that if there is a re activity which you're trying to learn and you want to start at a slow pace and gradually come up to speed, this is a way in which the program will do this for you automatically. So we could set the starting or the beginning tempo at let's say 50% of the original speed and then max it out at the full speed of 100% for example. And then we could set the percent change down here at let's say 5%. And what that would do then is if you started <clears throat> the speed trainer is it would play through this first loop at 50% when it hit the end, it would then jump back to the beginning and it would play it 50 plus 5 or 55%. Play through, jump back to the beginning, play at 60%. And then at 65 and then at 70 and then at 75. So it will gradually increase the speed over time. And that's why we call it speed trainer. And it's something that people who have used Song Surgeon have found very helpful. We've had a lot of people request that we include it in Video Surgeon, and it will be in this version when it's released. So that's a quick, brief overview of some of the new features found in the looping functionality that's going to be in version three. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in about a month with another one of these sneak peek updates.